24 years in the making, and yet Blue Origin still hasn't reached orbit. Many, even loyal fans of Blue Origin may be feeling discouraged. But the company is determined to make its debut flight next month, and they recently took a major step forward by finally installing the long-awaited BE-4 engine. However, is it really that simple with the FAA still in the picture? And adding to the competition, SpaceX's Starship is gearing up for its next milestone, potentially overshadowing Blue Origin's efforts once again. So what challenges and opportunities lie ahead for Blue Origin and the new Glenn Rocket? Let's dive right on in on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Since its inception, Blue Origin has faced considerable challenges in reaching orbit, falling short of expectations despite its vast financial resources and high ambitions. This year, however, marked a pivotal shift with a major ramp up in launch preparations. In 2024 alone, Blue Origin has been rolling out a comprehensive array of steps, releasing and mating critical components, stacking hardware on the launch pad, testing thrusters, forward fins, and landing legs, refining second stage systems, conducting thorough launch pad assessments, and even deploying their dedicated drone ship for recovery operations. Despite these intensive efforts, one crucial element had been noticeably absent, the BE-4 engine. This long-awaited, much-debated propulsion system, vital for New Glenn's maiden launch, had lagged behind, raising doubts as the launch date neared. Finally, in an exciting development on October 24th, Blue Origin showcased New Glenn's progress with an image of its first stage now fully equipped with seven BE-4 engines, confirming seven BE-4s. New Glenn engine installation is complete. Blue Origin CEO Dave Limp acknowledged the milestone, congratulating, congratulating the engineering operations and engine team and engine teams and offering more detail. The seven BE-4 engines will deliver 3.8 million pounds of thrust with each engine producing 246 tons of thrust as previously disclosed. He also explained that three of the seven engines have gimbal capabilities essential for controlling New Glenn through ascent, re-entry, and landing phases on the Jacklin drone ship. Limp emphasized, this gimbal capability, along with the landing gear and reaction control system thrusters, are key to making our booster fully reusable. Fun fact, the vehicle's max design gimbal condition is during ascent when it has to fight altitude winds. This determination to perfect drone ship landings follows S SpaceX's recent breakthrough with Super Heavy's daring Mechazilla arm catch, underscoring the new era of innovative landing techniques in spaceflight. Now that New Glenn's hardware has reached completion, Blue Origin is poised to enter the crucial stages of flight preparation, cryogenic tests to ensure the booster can handle extreme cold during fuel loading, static fire tests to verify engine performance while secured on the ground, and wet dress rehearsals to simulate full launch conditions without liftoff. These steps are critical in validating New Glenn's readiness for operational flights. However, Blue Origin's path to New Glenn's first launch is lined with substantial hurdles that will test the company's resolve and technical prowess. While the BE-4 engines are now installed, the timeline is daunting with just a few weeks to go until the projected launch window. This leaves virtually no room for setbacks. Any issues in the final stages of preparation could lead to a delay that would shake industry confidence in Blue Origin's ambitious promises. Despite the company's confident public statements, this tight schedule underscores the immense pressure to execute every step flawlessly. Among the critical upcoming milestones are cryogenic tests, static fire tests, and wet dress rehearsals, all essential for ensuring New Glenn's readiness. Each test will involve complex validation procedures requiring meticulous system checks to prevent potential in-flight risks. Unlike simpler pre-flight tests, these steps are lengthy and cannot be rushed, highlighting the tension between adhering to the timeline and upholding the precision necessary for mission success. Additionally, recent reports of hardware inconsistencies, while reportedly unrelated to the flight model, have sparked further concerns about consistency in New Glenn's production quality, adding an extra layer of scrutiny to the testing process. Even if New Glenn successfully completes all of these tests, regulatory hurdles could still cause delays. Christian Davenport, a seasoned space industry journalist, recently remarked, From what I hear, there is good progress toward getting an FAA launch license, but getting it in time for a November launch would be tight. Blue Origin's ties with regulatory bodies like the FAA may streamline the approval process, but securing a license with outstanding test results and documentation might still be challenging under these time constraints. 
This regulatory aspect highlights an additional risk as multi-year delays and outstanding hardware tests could push the launch date beyond November. Moreover, any delay would ripple through Blue Origin's mission schedule, impacting future launches, including a high-stakes Mars mission for NASA planned for next year. The Mars mission is especially time-sensitive due to the limited launch windows to Mars, which only open every two years. Missing this window could severely impact the mission timeline and cost. Additionally, New Glenn's successful debut is vital to securing its certification for future missions under the U.S. Space Force contract. A launch failure or significant delay would jeopardize these high-value contracts and cast doubt over Blue Origin's reliability in supporting high-profile government missions. Given these insights from Davenport and the intense pace of preparations, Blue Origin's goal of a November launch seems increasingly ambitious. If you share this outlook, type in yes in the comments section down below and add your prediction for when New Glenn might realistically lift off. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on Blue Origin's progress, as well as the broader developments shaping the space industry. Regardless of the exact timing, New Glenn will be up against a formidable contender in SpaceX's Starship Flight 6. Unlike New Glenn's debut uncertainties, SpaceX has quickly advanced to a new milestone, successfully firing Booster 13 only two weeks after Starship's fifth launch on October 24th. This progress paves the way for integration tests, preparing SpaceX for Flight 6 while Blue Origin's New Glenn inches towards its debut. Blue Origin had once aimed for New Glenn to fly before Starship's fifth mission, hoping to capture an edge in momentum. But with SpaceX's steady advances, New Glenn risks being eclipsed by Starship's achievements. SpaceX also has a substantial regulatory advantage. Following Starship's recent flight, the FAA confirmed that the modifications requested by SpaceX for Flight 6 remain within the scope of what has been previously analyzed. Effectively, this provides SpaceX the regulatory clearance to launch once all technical preparations are complete, allowing them to press forward while New Glenn's November launch hinges on final FAA authorization. Should Starship Flight 6 launch before New Glenn, it would emphasize SpaceX's operational efficiency underscoring the flexibility and readiness of its reusable architecture. This would be a significant blow to Blue Origin's aspirations, further highlighting SpaceX's agility in adapting and iterating. If both launches occur close together, Blue Origin's challenges will compound. New Glenn's maiden launch includes the ambitious goal of landing its booster on a drone ship, a technique that SpaceX pioneered back in 2016 with Falcon 9. Although the engineering and logistics behind this maneuver have been extensively refined by SpaceX over the years, it'll be Blue Origin's first attempt, leaving much to be proven. Starship's Flight 6, meanwhile, aims to capture Super Heavy with the innovative Mechazilla arm, a process continually refined since Starship Flight 5, to address parameters and recent issues like booster fires. A successful arm catch, would cement SpaceX's lead in the race for reliable, high-frequency reuse, marking a substantial technical leap ahead of Blue Origin's milestone drone ship landing. Beyond these individual launches, the stakes between SpaceX and Blue Origin are set to rise. Early next year, Blue Origin plans to support a Mars mission for NASA, an important milestone that New Glenn must complete to qualify for U.S. Space Force launch certification. Yet, SpaceX is pursuing an even bolder ambition, catching Starship's upper stage, a crucial step toward full rocket reusability. By achieving this, SpaceX would push the industry forward in reducing launch costs, efficiency, and accessibility, potentially establishing Starship as the foundation for Mars-bound missions and beyond. New Glenn's orbital capability, though promising, could struggle to match the pace and scale that SpaceX's architecture allows. With momentum from Flight 5 and Flight 6 on the horizon, SpaceX appears set to solidify its lead in commercial spaceflight. Starship's success would position it as the preferred system for everything from orbital missions to interplanetary travel, achieving cost efficiency and functionality at a scale that may place New Glenn on the defensive. 
Through its ambitious innovations and rapid pace, Starship could redefine what reusable systems mean for the future of space exploration, marking a new chapter that will challenge competitors to keep up. The future of New Glenn remains highly unpredictable as its debut flight approaches. Blue Origin must accelerate its preparations to ensure readiness in a timely manner, but the FAA's involvement introduces a layer of uncertainty regarding the exact timeline. Any delays in regulatory approval could significantly impact the launch schedule, potentially pushing back what many had hoped would be a groundbreaking entry into the orbital space market. Ironically, Blue Origin has long sought to compete with SpaceX in commercial spaceflight. As the moment of truth approaches, the opportunity has finally arrived, but Blue Origin may not have anticipated SpaceX's rapid advancements with Starship. Recent static fire tests and integration successes highlight SpaceX's progress, making the competition seem more favorable for them than Blue Origin expected. As we enter the final two months of the year, it'll be intriguing to see how both companies respond and strategize for the future. Can Blue Origin achieve a successful New Glenn launch or will it remain overshadowed by SpaceX? This competitive period could define both companies' paths and the future of commercial space exploration, with upcoming decisions likely having lasting impacts on the industry. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.